Right, welcome back everybody. Today we got one of the scooters in from out the front. The reason we're in is I didn't need the TZR frame on the ramp at the minute and I thought if I bring another bike in, while I'm still refurbishing parts for the TZR, we can get this one um, stripped down. This ain't going to be a major restoration. This is going to be panels off, repaired, repainted and it will have a full service and I'll check the belt and all that, make sure that's all right. And I'll probably stick 12 months MOT on it and then it'll be going out then. So it's ain't a restoration, it's just a little freshen up. What we're gonna do now is we'll get started stripping these panels off. But once again, before we start, I've had some stuff coming off of your wish list and I don't know who bought any of this. I don't know if the same person bought all of it, but I know this one coming on its own, they all come the same day, so that's all ordered around the same time, obviously. But this is one of the rubber mallet off my wish list. So if you did buy that, I really appreciate that. And in the next package, we've got some more of this heat proof paint, which is going to come in handy for these um, Yamaha projects. So, so whoever bought these presents, just to say, drop your name in the comments down below, and I'd like to say thank you as well. So, and these two come together. This is a multi pack of microfiber cloths, and then we've got some valve grinding paste and a lapping tool so again these two come together so I reckon these probably come from one person and then maybe they come from separate people or someone did buy the whole lot who knows so but anyway whoever bought them just drop your names down below in the comments and I'll give you a mention in the next video so let's get started right then, before you, we start I'll just give you a quick little look around these bikes I say they've had a bit of a hard life because they was um, learner bikes so they've been down the road a couple of times been dropped and all that so you can see the scratches down there, there is a crack there and there is meant to be little side vents in here which haven't come with the bike and I'm finding it hard to find them online as well so I'm not sure what we'll be doing with them but it's quite um, it's quite rare to get one of these with a belly pattern on it. These are normally the first things smashed off so I'm really happy that it's still got that and as you can see it's got all the usual scuffs where it slid down the road. And again there, same little hole there, but the plastic is still there, so that was all, that's all repairable. And it is going to want, ideally, a new seat because the sponge is all cracked as well, but, and it's falling to bits already, look. That side cover's just come off, not screwed in. It's all there, not broken. So... We'll put that in there and we'll start stripping this down. So what I'm going to start with is I'm just going to start removing all these screws. And I so said I did have one of these Piaggio NRGs when I was uh, 16. I did have a brand new one. Uh, it was the same colour as this, the blue, but it was didn't have the yellow stickers on mine. It had the green ones. So I am familiar with these bikes really reliable bikes these are and you can get them to go a good speed as well if done right I've seen these doing 75 miles an hour that'll fall out in a minute now on there pop that off there we're just gonna disconnect the front 
light switches. There we go. For now, pull that front end off and put that over there out of the way for now. Just one more screw hold in this belly pan. So they're pretty straightforward to strip these bikes. There we go. And that's the belly pan off. Right, so I've just whipped this little rear spoiler off here and that was four bolts there. So we'll get that off now. And then I can just take these two little Phillips out here. And then we'll go around the edge and take the other screws out. And then that should be the side casing off. The side fairing off rather. That's that. And there's just one down here. take out and I think there's one on the opposite side there that leaves a screw there and let's just take this front cover off first give us a bit of better access so there's a screw there One on the opposite side. And then there's just one inside your helmet box there. And I think that should release this front cowl in then. Just one more screw there on that bit of side casing. So there we go, that's another bit off. Right, so there was another screw up here just above the rear light lens. And then that's just dropped down. So we can undo these rear indicators. And I'll just leave that hanging for a minute because I can't get to the plug to unplug that rear light. But that leaves us two screws up here. That's off. But as you can see, there's nothing really to these bikes. I will take this off as well, so I can get right into the engine. I want to give it a good deep clean in there, because it is uh, full of crap as you can see. So I will be giving it a good clean in there. Looks like it's had a new spark plug recently. Oh no, we done that thing, didn't we? I can't remember. But yeah, it'll have a good clean. And I'll probably take that exhaust and give that a, uh, a rub down and a blast of some heat paint. But as for the frame, it'll just get a good clean down. I'll probably paint them fork legs just to smarten them up a bit. And then we're going to tackle the plastics. We'll get them all repaired and then we can get them rubbed down again. So that's the thing with these little scooters. There's nothing to them. I'll take that side case off. I say I want to check the belt in it and i'll give that a bit of a repaint while it's off so i say it's not a restoration it's just getting it looking presentable so we can uh, sell it on again so i'm just going to whip this box off and i'll come back to you right as you can see i've took that seat casing out now and it does need a right good clean under there it's all there though that's the main thing and i was also just taking off the backing of the clocks here and I just noticed look there's a nail in there holding that speedo cable in so we'll see what that's all about so I'm just going to whip this off now it's two screws I've took the screws out there's one there and one there and I think it's just literally disconnect the plugs and that should lift away then so hopefully let me just do that and the rev counter wasn't actually working on this set of clocks and as you can see it's actually corroded away there it looks like it's uh burnt out or something so i don't know if that's something we can repair or maybe i can get a, a new circuit that's something i'll have to just have a look out for online but as you can see it hasn't took really long to get all these panels off to get it to this stage it's only took me about probably about 20 minutes half an hour to get it to where we are now so the next stage is i want to give this all the good 
clean and I might even try and get take it back outside and we'll soak it in some uh, cleaning fluids we'll get the airline on it what I have got is I've got some uh, G101 so I might get some of that on it and that will clean it right up so that's the next step let's get it cleaned up right there so it's the next day now I had to go home because I needed to get my G101 which I use for cleaning and the ratio I'll do this is 50 50 so 50 parts G101 and 50 parts warm water so what we're going to do now is I'm going to take the bike outside We'll give it a good soaking in this and then we're going to power wash it down, get most of this crap off. So let's get it outside and get cleaning. So as you've seen there, I've just given the bike a, a degrease down with some G101. I do that 50-50, so 50 parts G101 and 50 parts warm water. And I'll give that a good douse in it. I let it set for five minutes, do its stuff. Then I went round with a little um, bristle toothbrush and just agitated it all in and then come in with a jet washer and blasted. I've probably got about 95% of it off, so it's a lot more better for working on now. So I need to be getting in there to I want to take the carb off, give that a clean because I just want to make sure the jets on it are perfect because it, it is running, it's running but it's not 100% and I want to check the um, belt on it as well. Like I say I'll be having a full service so it's as far down as I want to be stripping it in this video. The next video hopefully we will maybe start on the panels, start getting them um, plastic welded back to where they want to be and I'll, in the meantime I'll get some service kit ordered for this one yeah so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave it here for this little video and I want to say thank you again to the people that have sent me stuff off the Amazon wish list if you haven't seen the wish list the links in the description down below so we're going to leave it here for this little Piaggio NRG and until next time we'll see you about <laughs>